News will support the visit of the training session Monday afternoon at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall where Garcia had the look of the players bustling through their various paces. Great emphasis was placed on technique as the coach looked at ensuring players were physically fit and have quick reflexes. Speaking through a translator, the Cuban explained the locals have shown promise but they need to do a lot more physical conditioning. He felt it's important to have a home for the sport and have the requisite facilities so they can be more structured training than part of the improvement process is to spend long hours in training. Garcia is a coach with two Caribbean under 21 champions noted there's great ability in Guyana but the players need more exposure competition wise in order to test their skills and build on weak areas. Meanwhile, seasoned player and current national men's champion Christopher Franklin noted it has been a welcome experience, especially ahead of his Olympic qualification events next year. Uh, this is a welcome initiative by the Guyana Table Tennis Association. Um, it's something that I've been very vocal about for a number of years, but you know, due to uh, the restraints we had, we couldn't have. Uh, it couldn't have been possible, but. Now that it's happening, it's, it's a real blessing, um, especially uh, for me, heading into the Olympic year next year, I'll be trying to qualify, so this is a welcome boost for me. I know you've been around the season quite a while now, but what has coach uh, taught you different over the years that you know you can improve on it as you head into those Olympic qualifiers? All right, um, it's more of, of a structured training, and um, I realize that in the Latin American countries, they pay a lot of attention to the small details in training, especially in multi-ball, um, recovery, and uh, among a lot of other stuff. But, you know, more attention is being focused on the small areas to improve. So I've learned quite a lot from Coach. He's very, um, his knowledge base is very vast. Natalie Cummins revealed she has seen some technical improvement in her game. Likewise, young star Malachi Moore. So since day one, he... He came to the table, he was like, um, you guys need to lose some weight, right? So the physical was first and foremost for us. Tactically, he was like, um, Natalie, you need to improve on your backhand. It was lag lagging, like I was going down a little bit too much. So he wanted me to have a cleaner transition between forehand to backhand. So technically, he is he's on point. And within a short space of time, I've seen the, the small improvements within my game that probably a Chinese coach wasn't able to tell me because of probably language barriers and so forth. Well, we are building. The reason for him being here is so that we can compete um, internationally. So yes, I would like to say that just you have to measure it on competition date and see how we progress from probably from last year, th this year. He's teaching me, I didn't know how to loop and he's teaching me how to loop better. And some of my serves I, di I didn't used to get and he told me how to do it. Well, I am 100% confident and, well, if you focus, you can exceed. The expertise training should bode well for Guyana as it contests the Caribbean Junior Table Tennis Championships in April, possibly to be staged in Guyana. For the newsroom, Akim Green.